we got a chance to speak to some of the minds behind Sugar, the brand new show on Apple TV+. Plus. Check out my conversation with executive producers Simon Kinberg and Audrey Chan. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I absolutely love the show. It took me places I wasn't expecting to go, and mm -hmm. I haven't binged something like that in a long time. So, mm -hmm. congratulations. A question for the both of you. Uh, Sugar, along with something like Invasion, is what I like to call grown-up television, right? And that it rewards patience and encourages a viewing discipline. I mean, this one's not for the TikTok generation. Uh. <laughs> I'm curious, as producers, is that harder to pitch in Hollywood these days? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we necessarily pitch it that way, but um, <laughs> uh, I do think that, uh, you know, um, good storytelling with rich characters uh is mm -hmm. is stuff that uh television platforms networks movie studios st are still making um and i think when the characters are strong enough you get a lot of talented people and so you get a colin farrell to come and do a television show because mm -hmm. it's a beautifully written character so i i think there's a an element of what you're calling grown-up um tv or grown-up storytelling and i agree with that phrasing um that appeals and brings in grown-up talent uh, and that gets things made and, and very often gets things seen. Uh, the most frustrating thing about a lot of television these days, at least for me, mm. is that it feels utterly styleless. Mm. And so much of it feels templated. Mm -hmm. And I think what I love most about Sugar, and I was speaking to both Colin and Kirby about this, mm. is how it looked and it felt. And mm. I compared it to jazz and the quick cuts and the mm. uh, it's just there's, there's so much going on it's great uh mm. could you talk to me about crafting that sense of style with mm. this show yeah we started talking about that from the development phase and mark protasevich who created the show talked a lot about how he wanted the show to feel stylish and not stylized um so that was something that's been kind of a compass for us aesthetically from the very beginning. And when Fernando Morellas came on board, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned jazz because he very much works like a jazz musician and, you know, is um, improvs a bit with his actors and likes to find things on the day. And it's a very fluid process. And the way he shoots is very intimate and personal as well. You have really extreme close ups and you're shooting with natural lighting and it's not what actors are accustomed to in television. So I, I think all of those things um, came together in a very exciting way for the, to create the style. Yeah, there is such a musical quality to it. And it really worked for me because it kind of ratcheted up the tension in ways I wasn't expecting. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can you guys talk to me about casting the show? Mm -hmm. um, just every everyone from Colin to Kirby to James Cromwell, mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of immediately said L.A. Noah. Mm. Mm. And I, it, it, it's, it's this weird thing. I just had a sensation as mm. I clicked play on the first episode and it worked for mm. me. That's really interesting. That's cool. I mean, I think I think there's a couple cheat codes in there, right? Because like James Cromwell is like tickling the back of your brain for LA Confidential, probably. Correct. And, Correct. I, and I think there's an I think there's an aspect of Colin that you feel like he could have been a movie star in the 40s and the 50s. And that's not true for every actor, right? Like some of them feel very modern. Um, and I think Colin has a timeless quality to him. And he has a sort of, a, even his aesthetic is a certain leading man, square jawed kind of aesthetic to him. Yeah. Feels like he could have been a detective in, you know, in the big sleep. So I think that that's, I think that's part of it as well, which is that, you know, obviously we, this, we're thrilled with this cast. They're a bunch of, you know, uh, award-winning, incredible um fascinating humans and and actors uh but yeah i do think they fit um a noir feeling story for reasons that you know perhaps none of us fully understand consciously but we all chose them for reasons that because they fit into this into this world that we were creating yeah, from the first episode, I kept thinking Robert Mitchum, and then you cut to a clip yeah. of, of him in episode five, and I'm like, there it is, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Um, I'm all out of time. Thank you so much for this. Um, Simon, just one quick thing. When they write the history of superhero cinema, mm -hmm. Days of Future Past, man, that oh, what you did you. with that is incredible. Thanks, I appreciate Thanks so that. much. I appreciate it. <laughs> 
first two episodes of Sugar premiere on Apple TV Plus April 5th. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Sound off in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.